Guys, Mr. Bowman here. Today's learning objective is in white, and we are learning to use Pythagoras' theory to calculate the long side of a right angle triangle. So the key things we want to note is we are using Pythagoras' theory, and we're trying to find the long sides of those triangles. So we're going to start our video. Hopefully you recall from the previous one, but a squared plus b squared is equal to c theory. C squared. That's the formula that we're going to use to calculate any side of the triangle, but today we're focusing on the long side. And as a reminder, A and B, they relate to the short sides of our right angle triangle, and C, that relates to the long side. To help us get through the first couple questions, I've got a three-step approach that I want, need you to write. So first step is you need to label the sides of your triangle. So label your triangle. And just a reminder, that was A, B, or C. Once you've done that, hopefully you remember this S word from algebra, you need to substitute. And then once you've done that, I'm gonna ask you to solve. If you can follow those three steps, you should be able to get into all of the long side questions. So we're going to look at each of these three questions. Um, first step, we've got to label the sides of our triangle. So we have a look, we've got four, three, and kind of blank. The short sides A and B, they always join to make this right angle. So A can be down here, B can be up there. Just a reminder, these can be the other way around. A and B doesn't matter which way around they go. And the long side, the long side is opposite the right angle, so that long side there is going to be C. Once we've labeled our triangle, we now need to get ahead, we need to substitute. So we're going to write down our equation, A squared plus B squared is going to be equal to C squared. That's our equation. So what does A equal? And if you have a look at your diagram, A equals 3. So maybe I'll write that below just to emphasize it. A is equal to 3. B up the top, that's going to be 4 centimeters. And C, we don't know what C is. That's what we're trying to find out. So let's go ahead and substitute that in. So A squared becomes 3 squared. Notice I've taken away the A and I've put in the 3. C squared, I'm taking away the B, I'm putting the 4. That's going to become 4 squared. And C squared, that is unchanged because I don't know exactly what that is. At this step here, all I've, gotten is al all I've got is an algebraic equation, and that leads to our third step, solving that equation. So 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, so that's going to become plus 16, that should be equal to c squared. I'm now just going to add these together, 9 plus 16, use your calculator if you want to be safe, that's going to be equal to 25, is equal to c squared. This is the tricky bit. We need to get rid of the square, the opposite of a square. You may know it. It's called a square root. It looks a bit like this. So we need to do that to both sides. So I'm going to write C is equal to the square root of 25. And that means C will be equal to 5 centimeters long. So square root of 25 is 5 because 5 times 5 gets us to that 25. And the calculator does help us with those questions as well. That's our first question done. Um, let's now have a look at the blue triangle over here. And our first step, we always got to label the sides of our triangle. So A and B, they join to make that right angle. So maybe I'll put A down the bottom here, B up the top there. But just a reminder, these can be the other way around. It doesn't matter which way around A and B are, as long as they're on that right angle. Opposite to the right angle is the C. And that's the long side of our triangle. That's what we're trying to calculate. Now that we've done that, we're going to write down our equation. So a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. And the important second step, we're going to substitute in all the values that we know. So looking at our diagram, a, that's where the 5 is. So a is going to be equal to 5. b, that's going to be 12. And C, well, we've got no clue about C, so that's going to be another question mark. That's what we're trying to calculate. We now take away the A and put in the 5, so that A squared 
becomes 5 squared. We take away the b, put in the 12. So it's going to become plus 12 squared. And c squared stays the exact same because we don't know what that is. So we leave it as, as is. And now we've got our equation. And that leads to that step number three, solve. So we're now going to just go ahead and solve for c. So we're going to figure out, well, what's 5 squared? Um, that's going to become 25. 12 squared, that's 144. Don't forget, do use your calculators to double check any answer that you get. And C, that's unchanged because we're not doing anything to that. We're now going to add together 25 and 144. So that's going to be 169 is equal to C squared. And this is where we left off at the last step where we had to do the square root. So that square needs to go away. So we're going to flip it around, square root of 169. And that there is equal to 13 meters done a second question using that three-step approach. So the thing I'm emphasizing, or want to emphasize, these two C values, 5 and 13, they're nice numbers, but sometimes the numbers aren't always nice whole numbers. And this is what this last triangle is about. It's about an example which isn't nice. First step applies. Let's label the sides. So A and B, they join together to make the right angle. And C is opposite the right angle. So we've got our A, B, C. We're now going to write down our equation. So A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. We then start our substitution process, which is the second part. We know that A is equal to 8 and B is equal to 10. So A will be equal to 8, B will be equal to 10. We've got no idea what C is. Um, we now substitute. We take away the A. So A squared becomes 8 squared. So 8 squared, b squared becomes 10 squared, and c squared stays the same because we don't know what c is. We now evaluate, well, what is 8 squared and 10 squared? So 8 squared is 64, 10 squared is 100. That there is going to be equal to c squared. We now add these together. That's going to become 164 equals c squared. And this is the messy part. We need to get rid of that little 2. And the opposite of that squared is a square root. So we're going to go C is equal to the square root of 164. And square roots, best way to do these, I think, are with the calculators, particularly when they're not nice numbers like this one. So we're going to go square root of 164. That is equal to a messy number. Hopefully you're getting something like 12.8062487, a big long number like that. But we don't write down all the numbers. We often stop after the first or second number. So we're going to round. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this one 12.8 meters. And I'm going to say 1 dp because I've rounded to one value after the decimal point. So guys, hopefully you found this video useful. We went through how to find the long side of a right angle triangle using Pythagoras' theory.